Hey, if you are brand new today at Mountaintop, or maybe you're tuning in for the first time, I want to let you know that you have come to Mountaintop at a really special season and at a really special time. Uh, And if you're part of our church family, you probably know some of this is is coming, but if not, I want to let you know about a really historic season that's beginning next week on February 5th. We're beginning a five-week series called The Four Campaign, but it is much more than just a sermon series. It's the beginning of a three-year journey that really begins this week, the moment we walk out these doors. And it, it is, I've been saying this lately, that it is the biggest initiative that we have taken together as a church in over two decades. The four campaign is all about our heart to invite even more people to follow Jesus and equip more people to follow Jesus. And to do that, we need to make room for them. You may not know this if you don't have kids downstairs, but we're regularly having over 200 children on Sunday mornings and Mountaintop Kids. Yeah, you can praise God for that. <clears throat> and we want to reach even more children for Jesus. And while you can see we have plenty of room for their parents in the auditorium, we need to make room for them downstairs, and we need to make room for their cars in the parking lot. And our student ministry has been meeting in our student center, which is across the street here, in a space for over 10 years that was not designed for them. And we want to transform the student center to create an intimate space where they can worship passionately, a recreation space where they can build community, and small group spaces for every small group. You probably didn't know this, but on Sunday nights, we don't really have but about two or three small group spaces over there, and our kids trek across the street in the rain, in the cold, whatever it is, because the only small group spaces that we have are in this building, them to meet on campus. We want to create small group spaces for every age group to meet Uh, over there so that they can engage scripture together so that they can pray fervently together because something happens in groups. So yes, you're going to see some dreams and some plans for an amazing children's ministry addition in the next few weeks. You're gonna see some dreams for additions to our student center and much more of our campus. You're going to hear more about the cost, the plan, the vision for how we're gonna get there, how we believe we can accomplish this together. And every one of us will be challenged to lean into owning the mission of Mountaintop like never before. And I so want you to be a part of this because it's not about money. And it's not about a building. It's about building people in our buildings. The building, it's not for us anyway. It's for one more soul to be saved. It's for one more family to be transformed. It's for Birmingham. Mountaintop Church is entering an exciting season to reach more people for Christ than ever before. I'm just sorry, but I have goosebumps right now saying this, but it's it's just the right time. Mountaintop has made all the difference in my life and um, just so, so blessed to call it home. We believe that families are the future of Mountaintop and our impact in Birmingham will be measured by how well we reach the next generation. This is going to be the kids ministry that every family wants their children to be a part of. Our desire in Mountaintop students is to invite and equip students to follow Jesus. And we've seen firsthand that life change can begin with one single invitation. Told my parents about it and they brought me here. They saw how happy it was making me saw how strong I was getting in the faith. It redefined who I was really and that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the one invitation that he sent, of course. Trying to be for Birmingham for us is really just loving people. I think we are headed in the right direction and I really do think a lot of that is the For Birmingham campaign, just showing people that we love them, that God is for them and just 
inviting them in. So the journey begins today as you leave worship, and I want to ask you to do two things to begin preparing for this journey together. One is you're going to get right, either door you walk out of, you're going to get a prayer guide uh, to start praying this week because this is a spiritual journey. We're asking God to do what only he can do, and we're asking God to move in us and to show us how he wants us to be involved. So I just want to encourage you to do the spiritual work to align our hearts together. Let's cover everything we do in prayer. We we are a praying church. We believe in praying fervently. The second thing I want to ask you to do is to sign up for a small group fellowship, a small fellowship. Now, small group signups are happening today and they are super important. I want you to plug into a small group because the first four weeks of the group this semester are gonna be a four Bible study, which you are gonna be so blessed to, to study together. But a small fellowship is a separate meeting where you can ask questions, you can hear more details, get the full vision of what we're doing and we want everybody in our church, and even if you're watching online, you can be a part of this to participate in one of those. We've got different nights to fit your schedule, different neighborhoods to fit your geography. I can't wait to see what God does in us and as we dream about how God is calling us to be for others. 